אוהב. Were you in for most of the symposium yesterday? I was there for part of it. I went to the back in New York from Nuremberg by the UG. We are about to begin the 2016 March of the Living from Auschwitz to Birkenau. Since the first march was held in 1988, over 220,000 young people from around the world have participated in this sacred journey and march the three and a half kilometers between Auschwitz to Birkenau. A little over eight years ago, Nazi Germany passed the law of Nirlbergs, excluding German Jews from all aspects of German society. The Nirlberg laws were among the first steps on the road that eventually led here to the gate of Auschwitz, Birkenau, to the largest site of mass killing in the world and in the history of humanity. A little over 70 years ago, under these very same iron gates, Arbeit macht frei, Soviet troops liberated Auschwitz. But they were too late for most of these camps' enemies. By the time they arrived, only a few thousand frail and starving prisoners remained alive in the abandoned camps. Over 1.1 million people, the vast majority of them, innocent Jews, men, women, children, and elderly been murdered here in this cursed place, the largest site of mass murder in the world. All across Europe, the same scene was repeated. Allied troops, Soviet, Americans, English, Canadians, Australians. Soldiers came across to the concentration camps, filled with prisoners. The few who had managed to survive the brutality of the Nazi. They were also too late to save most of the prisoners. So, we return here, 71 years later, with this hope and pray. Never again shall we be silent when innocent people are being slaughtered, whether they are our brothers, sisters, or members of any other nations, race, or religion. Never again will be indifferent to suffering of others. Never again shall we be too late in hearing the cry of the downtrodden. And yet, when you look around the world today, we see so much suffering and so much injustice. We see that our work is not yet done. So, with each step that you take today, let it be a reminder to raise your voice against violence and hate, to proclaim to the world that you will never be silent or indifferent in the face of evil. <coughs> so I turn to you, marchers of the Mar of March of the Living, to the survivors and young people, to students and teachers, to second generation and third generation, to the people of Jewish faith and people of goodwill of all faces and background, and say, join your hands hearts together, and in the world of one of our marches, and I'm quoting, let us march against dehumanization, let us march against intolerance, and let us march toward a better future of all humanity. Let the march begin, and it's ad, it's ad,